Hi, hello, and welcome to Capricorn Venus Tarot. I'm Capricorn Venus. So today we're going to see what are you known for? So what are you known for in your circles or in general or online? What are you known for? So we've got four piles. Pile number one is the Juicy Couture perfume. Um, and I don't know the name of it. Let's see, peace and love. <laughs> uh, pile number two is the replica by the fireplace. And this is my newer one. Pile number three is the Coach Perfume, which I still don't know the name of. And pile number four is my other replica by the fireplace, um, but all used up. So that's what I've got for you. Pick your pile and I will see you in there. I'll wait a second. All right. Did you guys have a good week? I've been pretty busy, excited I get to move at the end of uh, next month, so I'm getting pretty pretty jazzed up for that. So, all right, let's see. Pile number one. Pile number one. What is pile number one known for? I think part of what you're known for is definitely your kind of sweetheart attitude, but it's almost like... Um, yeah, you're known as somebody who's kind of bossy and fun, but can be very polite and play the game, okay? Yeah, I think you're also known as someone who moves from place to place or um, can be seen in a lot of different environments, is always doing something, is always out. Um, yeah, always moving. Yeah, Six of Swords and Ten of Swords. <laughs> who leaves everything in the past. That's that's kind of also what you're known for. You're known as somebody who, um, if anything bad happens, you just leave it in the past. Or if just actually maybe you've left everybody in the dust, you know, <laughs> like that might be what you're known for is just leaving everyone in the dust. Um, but like in a, it's in a very movie way, the way I'm feeling it. It's like you driving off in a Corvette, you know, with the top down and up a winding road, you know, off to your fun times. Um, so it's not seen in a negative way. I think you're known for being that person that escaped, that being that person that drove away into the sunset. Okay. I think you're also known as someone who's always thinking of something new, who's always refreshing themselves, who loves to learn. Okay, what is pile number one known for? Also, you're known as someone who will change their mind. So that's interesting. Um, you're known as somebody who changes their mind and who will, yeah, just switch up based on new information. So that's good. You're, you're known as adaptable too. Okay. So what is pile number one known for? Six is Virgo, four is Cancer, and 10 is Capricorn. Interesting combination. Two earth signs, one water. Yeah, there, there's a thing. I feel like you're known as someone who has multiple layers to themselves, who has a lot of different, who's who's gone through a lot of eras. So I feel like you, maybe you've been the shy person. Maybe you've been the outgoing person. Maybe you've been someone really artsy. Maybe you've been someone really hardworking. And I feel like you have a lot of those on, in your tool belt as, as like people you've embodied or, you know, different phases in your life, you fully embodied a really quiet, hardworking person. And then another phase, somebody sees you again, and now you're really fun, you're really outgoing, you're laughing, um, you know, you're going with the flow. And so I think you're known as that kind of person who is always changing and has a lot of different sides to themselves, yeah. But it's more than sides to themselves because it's almost like eras with you. I think you're known as someone who has different eras. You might have even, I feel like maybe you're a main character in some people's histories. So maybe you were best friends with them in high school and then now they see you being best friends with somebody else, you know, so you're more, you're known for that era that you were in with people. So if, if you think people have forgotten the eras that they were with you, no, no, they still remember those times and you're known as that person from that memory. They still see you that way, the way they knew you. So it's like a very positive thing, I want to say, um, because they're just, they still romanticize that era with you. Okay. It's like your camp friends or something, you know, like you're still known for how fun you were that summer at camp. <laughs> you know, that's kind of what I'm getting. And it could be a lot of different scenarios. Think about your own life. Um, but 
Yeah, okay. So it might even be you're known for an era in your life that maybe only lasts like two weeks. You know, like you might be known for a time that is long past in your own life. Hmm. So yeah, high school does come to mind. So maybe you're still known in your high school circles and you're still relevant in the conversations and they still know you from when they knew you, if that makes sense. Okay. Chariot and Queen of Wands. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, Chariot, again, it's, it's like somebody who moved away or somebody who moved, somebody who really went left. That's kind of what I'm getting is like, you're known as someone who really went left, who, um, went all in, who made some sort of drastic, huge change. So if it's not literally moving states or countries or something, which I think for a lot of you it will be because it's coming up so heavily, um, but if it's not literally that or towns or something, um, then I'm also just getting, you moved towards your real personality or you are drastically different than your childhood self. So I think you're known duly, um, pile number one, in some circles, you're known for that era that they knew you and they still view you that way. And then at other circles, you're specifically known for being much different than when you were younger. Um, yeah, you might have gone through like a major glow up as well, just based on this. Page of Swords, Chariot to Queen of Wands. So it's like you became, you went from maybe, like I said, you might have this um, reputation or you might be known for being like that nerd in your youth who's now like a ultra hottie in their adult life. Um, so, because that's kind of the trajectory I'm seeing here. And you just kind of went full steam ahead. I feel like you're also known as someone who really believes in themselves, who sees their own value, you know? And like, someone to bet on, someone who was the underdog. But again, in this, in this known for, I'm getting no negative. So this is not people harping on your past or um, bringing it up to kind of downgrade you or something, none of that. I think you're known for, constantly improving and you get better with age and um that sort of thing yeah you may be known as someone who ages like a fine wine you also might be known as someone with a youthful energy or a kind of um light-hearted vibe to you i feel like you're known as someone who is really playful with the way they dress who's really playful with the way they speak and how they interact in the world you know you're not just doing the typical everyday kind of stuff um, so even if you're in a nine to five, maybe it's the way you dress or something. But if you're, I think for some of you, it's also maybe that you're not in a nine to five. So apply to your life. But either way, you're seen as someone with a really youthful attitude who, I don't know, looks at life in a very fun, passionate way and is always going towards where the passion's at. You know, <laughs> like you, you always want to be in the mix. That's what I'm getting with you. It's like you want to be in the mix. You want to be involved you're very emotionally invested in yourself. That's another thing you're known for. Yeah, but emotionally invested in yourself in general. You're invested, you're self-invested because it's like Cancer, Virgo, and Capricorn. It's like you did the work. You did the emotional work. You did the um, physical work, maybe if you're in a much higher position at your job or something like that. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking of a smaller scenario. So maybe you're in college and you joined some sort of sports team, you are known as like the most improved or you're known as the person who rose to the top of the ranks um, in this group or in this industry or sport. Um, so yeah, you could also be someone who has been at a job a long time and you are now known as like the best person in the workplace. And it's not that they remember, it's not that they're sitting there remembering about you being young but maybe they just know you know or they they do remember it and they're just impressed with your growth but they I do think you're very respected very very respected you're known for being respectable you know because because of your hard work and because of the way you really care that's another thing with you Paul one I feel like you are a person who fully invests in general with these sort of things you dive head first and you're really known for that okay King of Cups, yeah. King of Cups and Queen of Wands is what you're known for. Wow. <sighs> you are just, you're a charmer too. I feel like you're known for being very charming, for being very understanding, someone who has a, a very high emotional intelligence. Um, you're definitely known for that. I'm also getting, you're known for your eye contact being kind of deadly. Okay. You're known for um, taking people to task. You know, if they've made a 
social faux pas. There's something about like you controlling the social dynamics in an environment. Um, you have great discernment. You're known for your great discernment and how you can see the best in people. And you can also tell when they need correcting, but it's very like light. There's something about your energy that I'm feeling, Pal One, where it's not that serious. So you take things in a lighthearted way, but it is that deep. So you take things, you make real adjustments and you take things seriously while also being very lighthearted and fun. So you want the thing to be corrected, but you're not like super aggro or like mean about it, or you don't hold it against people, but it is serious enough to, you know, they need to correct it, but it's not serious enough to where you're going to hold it over their heads. You're that kind of person who can refresh the way they feel and, um, meet people where they're at. So if this is a job situation, if you're wondering about a job situation, you're seeing really highly at your job. Um, but yeah, in your family too, in your friend group, you're seen as somebody who smooths things over, who um, knows what's too far and a line crossed and knows when it just needs, you know, a little party or something. I don't know. Knight of Cups. Yeah, there's something about you being very social or you knowing how to interact in social situations. Okay. What is pile number one known for? Princess of Swords and well, for the Knight of Cups. Yeah, you know how to talk to different kinds of people, too. I feel like you're known for being someone who can explain things in a lot of different ways, who um, is always trying to put an olive branch out there. That's another thing. Okay, interesting. What is pile number one known for? You're also known... Okay, see, see here we go with the... Um, known as someone who leaves everyone in the dust or known as someone who will just pop out. That's another thing. You're known as someone who will just randomly pop out and be like totally transformed. Or you're also known as someone who will not, they, they won't see you for like a week or two and then you'll pop out and be like your absolute 10 self. So you might be known as someone who needs their rest time so that they can be their best self. I think that's everyone, but maybe you're just, maybe your rest time is longer than other people's or maybe you, um, it's so drastic because when people have you in their lives, it's like queen of wands, you know, something very fiery, engaging, fun, hilarious, um, you know, memories are made. But then when they don't have you, it's like complete silence. You, you don't do the in-between thing. You're all or nothing. I think that's another way people know you. Some people know you as all or nothing, but not if it's like coworkers and that sort of thing. I'm thinking um, you're known in your in your deep relationships as someone who does all or nothing. Um, and then when it comes to more professional relationships or acquaintances, you walk that line extremely well and you're very much a leader type, emotional leader type where you make sure everyone feels included and all that stuff. But maybe you're like a little bit more dramatic when it comes to your closest relationships. So, okay, because yeah, cancer, that you know, getting to cancer here, that can be kind of dramatic, very emotional, very, um, you know, can kind of go with the tides because it's like the um, cancer is the moon. So, you know, the tide is in and you get a lot of love from pal number one and the tide is out and they're, who knows where they are. Um, Queen of Cups and King of Cups and Queen of Wands. Okay, so, and the Chariot. Yeah, you're an emotional baddie. That's what I'm getting, Pa One. You're known as an emotional baddie. You're really hot. You're really um, fun to talk to. You're a great, you're like the personality hire, as well as being very hardworking. Um, let's think here. You always seem to know the right thing to say, to put someone at ease. Um, that's another way you're known. You know when it's time to work and when it's time to get emotional and when it's time to brush it off and just have fun. So you have a lot of sides to you. Again, I feel like that's a big part of what you're known for, yeah, Emperor. Again, you know when to actually buckle down though. You have this very lighthearted energy um, who has gone through major transformations and who um, is very fun now or something. Maybe, like I said, you might've been like more serious as a child or something, or when you were first starting this job or whatever. Um, at first, people saw you as, you were known as more serious. And then now you're seen as so lighthearted and so fun and so en engaging and entertaining. But there is this side of you too that can snap in to working hard. And so you're, no you're known for this little, all these, all these sides to you, okay? How else is pile number one known? 
again, leaving. Yet you are known as someone who will walk away if need be. You know, like you are someone who is so emotionally understanding and intuitive with your connections that by the time it's time for you to leave, they've obviously taken it really far. So you're, you're known as someone like that. I feel like because of the way you're known, people do question these people that you've left the lives of, um, if that sentence made sense. Like also jobs, if you leave a job, because people know you for being someone who puts in a lot of work and always um, knows the right answer for things and can make a lot of different situations make sense, when you leave somewhere, that place is questioned. So you're known for that. You're known for good judgment. You're known for putting it all out there and um, really trying your best to make things work. And so when you leave places, it's like, I don't know, you're known for leaving places when it's time, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay. But also people, you're known for walking away unexpectedly. <laughs> so you might be that kind of person who does an Irish goodbye. Like, I think Irish goodbye is when they don't, you don't say goodbye and you just leave. Um, so you might be known for that. <laughs> you might be known for leaving unexpectedly. Maybe at like the height of the party, you're the one to leave. Or like, you might be known as someone who, they, someone thinks they're having a conversation with, but you think it's over and you leave. Okay. yeah you take it slow and you're very methodical too because we do have virgo here and then getting the knight of pentacles i feel like there is this side to you that is very methodical very detail oriented um which kind of can go against how normally people see a queen of wands individual who's super fiery and not worried about the details um yeah and it's almost like you keep this knight of pentacles self under wraps but it's always working it's always working underground the lovers. Oh, yeah. I feel like you're also known as someone who a lot of people would want to be with. A lot of people see themselves being close friends with. I think because of how um, kind of mutable your personality is and how you love talking to people and how you love engaging with people, a lot of people feel like you are very special to them. Um, and so, yeah, you might have a lot of people that are very special to you in your life. You might have very, very, very deep connections. And like I said, I feel like you're an all or nothing kind of personality when it comes to your deep relationships, or at least that's how you're known. Um, and so you're also known as someone who has these deep relationships, who follows through with that sort of thing. I think you're also known as someone very loyal. But, you know, it's like you're extremely loyal, but you will leave. So there's that kind of, again, this all or nothing kind of thing where people respect your decisions because they know how loyal you are. So if you left, it was not for nothing. Um, okay, interesting. Let's see if there's anything else. I'm feeling just a little bit more. Yeah, I feel like you're someone who's willing to put themselves on the line. That's another thing you're known for. You're willing to put yourself out there, to send the first text, to be a little risky, um, you know, to like, tell your friends you love them, to buy people lavish gifts, like to kind of go out on a limb. Like I said, you're not afraid of, or you're known as not being afraid of rejection and being okay with being overly loving or, or even overly giving. You're like, you're good at that. You're, you're comfortable there. I think it's because you have this emperor side to yourself. So you know that you know, if someone's going to mistreat you or like take you for granted or something when you're giving all of all of yourself to people, then you can, you know, lay down the law and leave, like we said. But I feel like you you choose trust first. Um, you know, you follow your intuition when it comes to people that you want to engage with and you're known for that. So, OK, perfect. Let's pull some music videos to end off. What is pile number one known for? This is funny because I feel like you don't let it go unsaid. So I feel like you're known as someone who is kind of afraid of this feeling almost. Oh, wow. This is very intense. I feel like you're known as someone who maybe other people feel like they didn't say what they needed to say. Yeah, because.
because some people have lost you. I am sensing that. You're known as someone who others have lost in the past. At least one person has lost you. But I feel like because of that, you're known as someone who knows how to deal with those situations and tries to make sure that you don't have any regrets. Okay? What else? How else is pile number one known? Yeah, you try to make the best of your life. I really feel like you're known as someone who tries to make the best of their life always, who has like tides of, of feeling. Um, yeah, who has a past, that's for sure. You've got a past. Um, and you think, you think deeply about stuff. Like, makes sense. Top notch. Oh, and hit different again. So I do feel like, okay, so crazy wants to come up. And this is like a best friendship where you guys are driving all around town. And again, I think people know you from the eras they experienced with you because being around you is an experience in itself, foul one, um, and you're known for that. So people remember these times with you. They hold them in, in great esteem. They think about them. They might have been like super romantic, nostalgic times in their memory. And so you're known for that nostalgic memory. Um, yeah, I mean, you're definitely vastly wanted <laughs> pile one you're like wanted by a lot of different kinds of people and so I think that also helps with your optimism about jumping all in and being okay with giving a lot of emotion because if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out but at least I put my full ass in there and that's you're known for that kind of attitude with things like and also this drama sense because I'm looking at Wuthering Heights over here you have this like sense of again it is that deep you know like I care about having deep relationships or deep, um, I don't know, life is important. Make it like a story. Yeah, you have that kind of energy. If you make life like a story. And that's why you have these um, crazy, intense memories with people. And that's why you hit different than everyone else and why people can't forget you. But you're able to walk away decisively because you, you know, you always put your best effort in and your best foot forward. And so this allows you to navigate the world in a very unique, cool kind of way where a lot of people feel impacted by you, Pal One. So that's what you're known for. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming by and I will see you next time. And I'll leave these down below. Okay. Pal number two, what is pal number two known for? Let's see. You could be known as someone who fakes it till they make it, which is a great thing, by the way. Yeah, you, <coughs> <Ooh. coughs> mm. <laughs> I think you're known as someone who um, might be a little dangerous, pal too. Okay. Yeah, you might be a little dangerous. Interesting. I think you're known as someone who can be quite harsh, but tries to be good or tries to be sweet or tries to, um, you know, keep their temper in check. <laughs> That's funny. Um, what is Pal 2 known for? Six is Virgo. We got Virgo and Cancer in Pile number one as well. Um, so we got Virgo, Cancer, and Aries. Self, family, and home, and daily routine. Yeah, you, you're also known as kind of a loner. You're known as somebody who um, really enjoys their own company, really enjoys their routine, does not like to be taken out of what they've got going on. Will, you know, like, I, I'm sensing that you, you are known as someone who will come out, but it's like people know you'd rather be at home. <laughs> people know you'd rather be reading or you'd rather be um, walking alone like there's something about you where you're known as someone who loves their solitude or loves being alone um or loves their quiet time who journals a lot or who has a hobby where you're just sitting at home reading or a hobby where you're gaming all the time or um you'll go to the bar alone or you, you'll go out on adventures by yourself yeah you're definitely known as that you, you're known as like an artistic personality who maybe likes to write or read or something to that effect you know, it couldn't, it doesn't have to be those two. It's just, those are the easiest things when you think about what do you do alone, you know? Um, but you're just known as someone who likes their alone time, okay? 
you're, you also might be known as someone who has a very close relationship with their pet. Okay, how else is pile number two? Again, with this creativity. So electric eel spirit brings your ideas to life. So you're definitely known as an artist. Definitely known. Claim your independence and here's a cat. Yeah, I was getting like a cat energy with you. So even if you if you have a cat, then you're definitely known as someone who has a very cute cat or um, has like a sweet dynamic with their pet. But also, if you don't have a cat, or, or even if you do, I feel like you're known as a cat kind of individual. Like, you don't want to scare them off. You know, they're coming up to, if, if Pal 2 comes up to see you, it's like a special moment because you know they'd rather, or they could easily just be alone. So you feel like honored that Pal 2 came up to you or honored that Pal 2 wants in your energy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but also you're very, very, very independent. Very, very, very independent. Like, it's very extreme in your energy, how independent you are. Take a leap of faith. Yeah, you're known as someone who people, people have to take a leap of faith towards you because it's very likely or possible that you'll reject them because of how much you enjoy your own company. Embrace the in-between. So we got electric eel, bring your ideas to life, cat, claim your independence, and flamingo, embrace the in-between. So I feel like even when people are in your presence, they can sense you're daydreaming about something else, um, that you have a whole other thing going on in your mind. Um, yeah, and you you have a very creative, interesting kind of spirit. Okay, let's see. Yeah, you have like a catch me while I care kind of attitude that you're known for. So again, if people get your energy for a moment, they better like really capitalize on that moment. Okay, that's how you're known. Share tenderness. But you're known as someone who, if they can get them to come out, if they can get them to engage, you're known as someone who connects really deeply and who is very interesting and enveloping in your, because again, you have this very creative, um, artsy literary kind of vibe to you um, even if you don't read or you know like people who listen to a ton of music they can feel like this too like this artsy dreamy kind of energy um, that people love to get invested in they love to have these moments with um, it's just rare so when it does happen they want to make sure they're fully present and there for you you really it's funny because you make people open up as well. You're known as someone who makes people open up, even though you're so independent and you maybe don't come out that often or it's hard to get you to come out or it's hard to get you involved. Um, when you are involved, people feel like there's nothing holding them back because I'm seeing this over here. So we'll go ahead and add that. There's nothing holding them back. They want to get invested. They want to um, go out with you or... Yeah, something, something, something there. Okay, well, let me, let me get some clarification. Yeah, ripe fruits. Like, okay, this is my time, you know, let me fully jump in. I think because you have such a strong barrier around you, it actually makes people trust you more because they kind of feel like they respect that. I feel like people respect your boundaries. You're known as someone who has who has a lot of boundaries, but that it's respectable because once you get past those boundaries, you're very, um, like they see, they see how valuable you are. And so the boundaries make sense because you're like a very invested friend or you're someone who cares a lot or has a lot of interesting things to say. And maybe sometimes you are a little weird or something. And so then people also Again, understand your boundaries because it's like maybe you you just don't want the judgment and that's why you have the boundaries. You know, you'd rather be alone because alone you can have your thoughts and nobody will look down on it or or question it or add doubt to you in any way. You're very focused on healing yourself and um, growing your heart up. You know, like you're, I don't know, you're very invested in making yourself your own family and you're your own support system. And so it's very serious to you to let someone pass those walls because you already treat yourself so well. And maybe you're just like, you know how people can be. Because I'm not even sensing a lot of fear that you're known for. It's more like you know how people are. So you'd rather be alone. That's kind of what I'm getting. Okay, so what is pile number two known for? 
So I think because of this, you're also known as someone who a lot of people compete over your time. Um, it might be something that irritates you. you. You're kind of known for someone who has a lot of people competing over you, but it kind of irritates you and that you're on your own journey and they, you feel like all of this attention kind of sidetracks you, okay? Heart to heart conversations. Yeah, that's what I was getting though because with shared tenderness and the green with the healing here, I'm, I'm just seeing like you're really excellent in those heart to heart conversations. And so after people have had those with you, you're known as someone... Um, Okay, so maybe there's somebody recently who you opened up to, and so this is a more recent energy of what you're known for. Now you're known for deep conversations, whereas before you were known for specifically having a lot of boundaries up and not talking to people or being very distant. And then now, because you met someone you really um, connect with, you're known as someone who also can have these heart-to-heart -heart conversations, but only with people you really like. Okay. Yeah, because I'm, I'm sensing like a little bit of a change in how you're known. Okay, I think you're also known as someone who's very picky. Again, I am getting this sense that you might be known as someone that is high value that a lot of people compete for or go after. And maybe that could bother you, okay? Because then maybe you, you're also known for as someone who questions people's motives. I think you're known as someone who questions, why are they coming towards me? Why do they want to have a conversation with me? Is it just because of my value? Is it just because um, other people like me? They, I think you're known as someone who thinks, they just think they want to talk to me. They don't actually want to talk to me. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Because maybe you think you're too weird or you think you're too different. Um, you're not, just, you know, there's a lot of people that are artsy, you know, like you're in an artist class pile too. So just find other artsy, interesting people who like to hear your strange thoughts, um, you know, like, and I feel like you're starting to do that and that's why what you're known for is changing slightly. So, okay, what else is pile two known for? Yeah, you really pay attention to past life relationships. That's interesting. If you felt drawn to pile one, maybe you should watch that too. But um, I do feel like there are people that you you have a very small circle. And when you do have people that you have these heart to heart conversations with, it's like you take it very seriously. It's like it's a past life relationship. Like it's like you guys are soulmates, you know, platonic or, or like it was meant to be or like this is perfect, you know, and I only ever talk to like these two other people in my life. Um, that's what you're known for, for sure. But again, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So I feel like in your personal connections, you're known as someone very straightforward with something interesting to say always. Someone who's very tender. Um, oh, you might even be known as someone like the sweetest person some people know. But it's only after, you know, they've passed your tests and they've, they've you know, because I'm sensing that you are very, um, you got like a very keen eye to where you are always looking for the red flags. You might've just been around a lot of like naysayers or very conservative type thinkers. And so this led you to um, maybe be a bit judgmental of people to the way, to the point where you're looking at the red flags before you're looking at anything else. So you might have even um, shoot away people that you actually like and then had to come back around. So you might be known for that too, you know? Um, people's, people, what, the, what you're known for changes all the time, but maybe this is something recent. The signs are cautioning you. Yeah, you have you do have a skittish energy around you, like a cat again, but like very sweet, and people really love your time at the same time. People are the people close to you are very willing to deal with this. By the way, pal too, like they understand where you're coming from as well. Not just w willing to deal with it, but they understand where you're coming from because all of us have dealt with conservative thinkers and. Um, annoying type individuals who make us feel bad for the thoughts we didn't want to share with them in the first place. Um, <laughs> you know, it's like, I hate those people that push you and push you to open up and then judge you for what you're going to say. Like, you might have dealt with some something like that. Um, and this made you very cautious. Hmm. How is pal number two known? They admire you. Yeah, people really admire you. As especially the people you let in to see this softer side of you or this more artsy, dreamy side. Um, 
oh, you might even have like, again, this picky side, like this very um, specific keen eye side that maybe also you hide away. People admire this as well. And then I also think you're known as being admirable anyway, even with people who don't get past your boundaries um, or don't get past the high high guard tower you've got piled to. Um, they admire you as well. But I think you don't care as much about what those people think. And maybe you're just asking what the people who actually know you admire or, or what you're known for by people you actually know. <laughs> um, and I think you're known for being someone admirable. You're known for being someone that people look up to, that they enjoy having conversations with, that is funny as well. I'm getting like, you're known as someone very funny, um, dramatic in your own way, in your softer way. Um, Mama's broken heart, interesting. Yeah, you might be someone who really gets torn up about things because we have kept mentioning this. So you might have like a really bad breakup in your past, um, that you're known for and you're known for feeling things very intensely, um, which is a wonderful thing. And I'm getting like people, people love this about you, that you feel so intensely and that you're really, when you love, you love hard. When you let someone pass your walls, you really, it's a very serious thing for you. They love that. Yeah. And I feel like you're known for being better off without these people that you left in the past. That's for sure. So if there was like a hard breakup or, um, falling out or whatever you're you're known as better off for having left it yeah I think you're known for um your kind words of affirmation too I'm getting like you're known maybe for something specific that you've said to some people um and so whenever you pop up in their mind they think of this really kind thing that you said to them or this way that you really helped them and it's like a very warm <sighs> nice feeling. I feel like you're known as someone who improves the lives of the people that you connect with. Yeah, you're known as someone who improves the lives of the people you connect with. Great. How else is pile number two known? Decisiveness. Yeah, what did I say? Like, again, with this, the sharp eye. I'm getting that song by um, Kiki Palmer, Virgo Tendencies. And we do have Virgo here. Yeah. Decisiveness. You know what you like and you know what you don't like. And you mean it. Luck. But you know what? You're also known as someone who has a lot of good luck right now, too. Support. There are people who really want to support you. And you're known for someone who has some people supporting you. I, I'm getting the sense that right now you're being... Like I said, you, you're, what you're known for might be changing slightly. Um, excitement. It's like maybe you seemed very stoic and that's how you were known for a long time. But recently you've gotten excited about a new um, career or a new phase in your life. Um, and you have some people in your life sticking up for you and being really proud of you and knowing you as someone who's changing things, who's who's upgrading themselves or their lives or um, coming into their own and, and is really amazing. Or maybe you've met some new friends lately and it's changing what you're known for because now you're known as someone who um, people wanna support, that they admire, that they think is really interesting and they wanna learn everything about, um, that is very lucky and that they're lucky to have met you and you're known as someone who people are lucky to have met and lucky to have connected with. So that is what I'm getting. Okay. But again, still very independent. You're still known as someone extremely independent. Um, and But this admiration is really strong. Like, I'm getting just a lot of admiration for conversations that you've had with people. I think that they were more important to these people that than you know. I think you're known for these sweet, tender moments. Even if it was just, like, one conversation that you feel like, in the grand scheme of things, doesn't matter. It really mattered to those people. So, I think you're underestimating how you're known for being a very supportive person. Yeah. 
someone really different too. Someone surprising. Hmm. Worth investing in. Okay. Let's see. Let's pull some tarot cards actually also. Let me pull some music videos, more music videos in a minute. Let's see. What is Pal 2 known for? The lovers, king of wands. Yeah, you're very charming. That's what I'm saying. I think that um, I needed that first part of the reading because now you know that it's for you because I think the way you're being known is changing and you might not even be aware how it's changing because um, you're actually known as someone very charming, someone with a cool way of living, who people find very um, attractive and exciting to be near and exciting to talk to, um, a unique way of thinking. Um, you're known as like a kind of a mind reader. Okay. Someone who can keep up with banter. Yeah, I feel like you're known as someone who can have a lot of witty banter. Okay, how else is Pal 2? Yeah, King of Pentacles, wow. This makes sense with the old persona too. I feel like, again, it's it's a continuation and you know, we all have lots of different sides of ourselves. So I think also this, that stoic side of you is also building up in your, um, how you're known. It's like, you're still known as someone very reliable, someone who is stable, someone who has that earth sign vibe of loyalty and clarity and, you know, particularity. Okay. How else is Pal 2 known? King of Cups. Lots of masculine energy here. So I don't know if you're a man watching. Um, hmm. King of Cups and King of Pentacles. Well, you're like a really good catch as well. Like you're really um, stylish, charming. You could be known as photogenic. You could be known as somebody with a good hair. You could be known as someone with like a serious face, you know, like a resting bitch face, but also very charming. Okay, King of Wands, King of Pentacles, and King of Cups. So yeah, I don't know, like, yeah, okay, interesting. Maybe you were recently at a party or something and you really worked the room, like, as I really am sensing that. There might be something recent where you worked the room or you got everyone to like you or you caught everybody's attention. Everybody has a crush on you in this environment or everybody's talking about you. Three of Wands, you, you know, you have your pick or you have, again, with this pickiness. You have your eye on a prize or you have somebody in particular that you're wanting to connect with. How is Pal 2 known? Cool. People can't guess your next move. People cannot guess your next move. But they're definitely watching with bated breath. King of Cups and the Fool. That's Aries again. Water sign, Earth. Wait, oh my gosh, so this is Earth, this is water, and this is Aries. I feel like you're also known as someone who's taking control of their life and chasing after what they want. Um, you're known as someone who it maybe has locked in on someone or some goal, and you're going towards it. I'm really getting someone. So you might be known as someone who has somebody else on their in their sights, in their crosshairs. Okay. Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're... Okay, so you might be known as someone who's pursuing somebody. You could be known as someone who's pursuing somebody who's fighting off other options to pursue this one person. Or even you could be like picking a best friend out of all your friends or something. Like everyone wants to be your best friend and you've already decided who it's going to be. Um... 
you're very popular. Very, very popular. You're definitely known as someone who's popular, who everyone would want to get in with, but that you have your eye on someone in particular. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, well. See, with the Six of Swords, I'm just getting you're known as someone who's making these decisions about where to go and who to leave behind. And it's kind of chill. I'm also saying like you're a very chill decision maker um, is another thing you're known for. You're not known as being very brash at all. You're known as being very serious and thinking long term and that sort of thing. So that's what I'm getting for you, pal, too. Interesting. You're also known for making people nervous. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. Um, interesting. Okay. How else is... How to known. You could be known as someone who likes to travel as well, because I just saw something over here. How else is pile number two known? Yeah. Yeah, see, it's like making big plans for the future. Um, this is your moment. You know, that's what we were saying in the beginning of the reading, where it's like, I better invest while they're talking to me. Huh. Okay. But this one I'm getting like, that might be you from your perspective. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, I am getting. All right, that's all I got. Yeah, you're known as someone who things aren't over with. Like, I feel like you have a plot that's ongoing right now. And that's how you're known is like, this unfinished business or people watching what's going on right now i don't know more to come with you i feel like there, that's oh, oh that makes sense with the three of wands too it's like people are anticipating there's more to come with you for sure so i'm gonna leave these down below pal too thank you very much appreciate you coming by and i will see you next time okay Pile number three. Hmm. Okay, pile three. I feel like you're known as someone who's sexy and doesn't know it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm looking at the red jasper over here. I, I feel like, and I'm just getting this sense from you, like, um, it's kind of ingenue vibe. Maybe you grew up from when you were a kid, and so, like, you're known as someone who's hot, but still acts like they're not way too hot to be acting like this by um shoot i can't remember his name i think mgk is on it as well so i'll try to link that up down below but like you are hotter than you think you are that's how you're known okay ace of wands <laughs> sometimes i'm just so good it's crazy yeah you're known as someone because it's like you don't see, I don't know, it's almost like you don't see your full value at this moment. Um, yeah. You can be kind of naive. You're like known as someone who's kind of naive about people's desires towards you or people's um, interest towards you. Like you, you always think it's a prank or you never believe it. Okay. <laughs> this is interesting. What is pile number three known for? I think you're also, you're known as like a romantic though and kind of sweet and light. Um, and this is genderless. So I, I just feel like, you know, the version of this that's for men is like, oh, what a sweet boy, you know, like kind of energy. That, that's kind of what I'm getting is like, oh, she's so sweet. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, they're so sweet. Like, uh, they don't even know like that people like them or they don't even, they don't know their beautiful kind of vibe from you. Um, okay. Hmm. Yeah, Cancer. I'm getting Cancer. You have that in your chart. Hmm. You're like shy. You're like a little shy. Um, Pile 3. You're known as being that. But like very deep and watery. Yeah, definitely watery vibes with you. Okay, so what is Pile number 3 known for? 
think we've gotten Virgo in every single pile. It's interesting. And seven is Libra. Yeah. You're known as extremely be beautiful. I think you're known as like having like your face card never declines, you know, kind of vibe. Like there's something very, very amazing about the way you look pile three. I don't know. Like I'm sure there's a lot of great things about your personality, but as far as what you're known for, but, but it's part of your personality too, the sweetness. But I think what you're known for is just having like a model like beauty, um, you know, statue like beauty with your face. Um, mm -hmm. So f for men, they often say that when it, when they have like a prominent nose or like a really, um, you know, deep eyes or something like that. And for women, it's like this soft skin or something like this. Um, and, and you're known for that. You're known for your soft skin. You're known for your, um, you know, meticulous nail beds. And we got nails over here too. You're known as like a jewel. Like a precious jewel. Hmm. A prize, even. So, there might be competition going on behind your back, um, pile three, that you don't even know about. Or you're known as someone who doesn't know about it. Maybe you do, you know? Tell me in the comments down below. But I think there could be even more going on than you think. You're somebody people look at and think about and talk about. People want to steal you away. People want to take you away from all this. Kind of, that's kind of the energy I'm getting. Five of swords, okay. Yeah, it's like, I think you're also known as someone who people compete for and then you choose none of them, you know? It's like, I heard that five of swords is like no winners, <laughs> basically. All these people fight over you behind the scenes and you're just walking on, la la la, you know, focus on your own thing. Not interested in any of them. <laughs> Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're above it. You're above the fray. That's kind of what I'm getting is like, I think you're also known as someone who has people who protect them or who has like bodyguard friends. Um, like you're the soft friend and you have bulldog kind of friends or you have um mm -hmm. like you're super sweet and the people you surround yourself with are really like harsh or goth or like intense <laughs> I think you're known as someone who is the sweet friend and or who it's like golden retriever and black cat and like you're known as someone who has a lot of the black cat type personalities around you you might be known as someone who likes those type of personalities and who connects with a lot of those kind of people. Yeah, you're known as someone very quiet and peaceful and particular. And even if you're not completely quiet, because we do have the Ace of Wands here, you might be very fun with your friends, but I think you're known as someone who can get kind of quiet and like drift off or is kind of dreamy in that way. Of cups. But like I said, you can go and pop off with your friends. But then other times you're just really in your head and nobody, you're unreachable. Yeah, there's something about you that's, um, you're known for being unreachable. So maybe you just have your phone on silent and that's why it's coming up. But I'm also just sensing there's something about your energy that feels above it or above things. Like you're like, you give a lot of poetry kind of imagery. You're known as being like a poet type person. So maybe you're literally known as a poet. That could be it. Um, you could be known as someone who is kind of cryptic in the way they speak. Um, but I also just feel that you are someone who is a muse too. You're known as a muse. Ace of cups. So we got the ace of cups, the ace of pentacles and the ace of wands. Like, wow. All we're missing is the ace of swords because that's like so intense. Like this makes sense. You are so free and giving with your soft attitude or maybe just like by virtue of you being in a room everyone feels good um and that's why you have these kind of black cat personalities to beat people off with a stick yeah I think you're known as someone who doesn't have to do a lot of rejecting yourself you just kind of drift away from things eight of pentacles okay so you might be side-eyeing these people 
but I think it's soft. Like you're just known as someone who's just kind of working on your own things and people might be competing in the background, but again, you're just working on your own things. Eight of Pentacles is like, maybe you are a writer, maybe you are um, kind of a workaholic or something like that. And so that's why you're not noticing all these people fighting behind your back because you're working on things. You have projects, you have interests. Eight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you're known as someone people have to chase. I mean, that that's for sure. But I think you're also known as someone who gives freely, though. Give me some clarifier on that because it's kind of like okay, Ace of Pentacles and Knight of Wands. You might give free advice. That's another thing about you. Um, I think, yeah, you're known as someone who gives free advice who is a um, positive mood booster to everybody who gets to interact with you, even the cashiers. Again, I've seen you're known as someone who, you might be known at your local coffee shop or something like that, and you're known as someone who is always sweet or is always tipping. You might be, you might be known as a good tipper, um, so apply that if it resonates. You're definitely a blast to hang out with because your energy is just a mood booster. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Takes a long time to get to know you. That's another thing. I feel like um, you're known as someone who it takes a long time to get to know. And maybe that's why, I, I think you're known as someone who has specific people around you. And so when they're talking about you, they do talk about these people in your life. So this could be your partner that they're always talking about. When it, You're known as someone with this partner. And so your partner's traits comes up in how you're known as well. Um, so that's interesting. Yeah, you might be known as someone who dates such and such and they do this and that, you know, like, and, and the same with the best friends or that sort of thing. It's like, there's something unique about the company you keep. Maybe they're just really different than you. <laughs> um, so you might have company that, like, your, your close friends or your family or the people that you choose to spend your time with might be really different than you. And so you're known as someone um, like that. Huh. Okay, how else is pile number three known? Gemini. Yeah, definitely creative. Definitely very creative. Great aesthetic. Very clean. Um, yeah, your outfits are really cute. You're known for your aesthetic for sure. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you keep yourself pretty locked away. I think because of all this competition that goes on with you. Maybe you had to learn that People act kind of out of character around you, and so you keep yourself hidden, but it's in a very soft, sweet way. There's something about that where it's not its not harsh. Like, you're, you're coming across, you're known as someone who's very sweet, um, very loving, very um, caring. Put, maybe, maybe even a people pleaser or putting yourself on the line too much, and that's why you had to kind of put up these barriers and... Um, I think you have reluctant barriers though. You're known as someone who has kind of reluctant barriers. You'd like to be more giving, you'd like to be more invested, but you've had to learn to hold back and learn to, you know, take yourself into consideration first. And I think these other people in your life help you do that. And so you're known as people who has, has like protectors around you because you're such a jewel and you're such a gem and you're so amazing. Um, okay, two of wands, yeah. But, but overall, you're known as someone very positive and happy-go-lucky. And rose-colored glasses is how you're known, for sure. Yeah, you're known as someone who is obviously going to amount to a lot, you know, or, or has already amounted to a lot and is already this person who's very valuable and amazing to be around. <laughs> two of Pentacles, two, two, two. Two of Pentacles and three of Cups. Yeah, you're, you're someone who balances work and play. You're someone who... Um, you know, has your friends and also has a love life and you don't just disappear when you have a partner. Um, and then you also don't, you know, ditch your friends for your partner and you don't ditch your partner for your friends. Like, you, you know how to balance all of that. And if you don't have a partner, then maybe it's just 
you know how to balance all your different friendships or all the people who want your attention um, and you've become really good at that. Okay, what else is pile three known for? You're known for having powerful people on your side and this allows you to move very freely. So you are known for that. You're known for your team, you know, and that you're not alone and you're not somebody who is going to be easily um, swept away. Hmm. Yeah, you have a you have a stable spot. You're and you're known for that. Okay, this was interesting. I feel like people talk a lot about you, and you're known for actually a lot. Um, but especially this Ace of Cups sense about you, where you're always giving your best self, and you're very pure-hearted individual. You're kind of known as an angel, Pile Three. I gotta be honest. Like, I really feel like you're known as an angel that a lot of people want, and some people might even be aggressive about getting to you. And so that's why you've had to learn. That's why you have the kind of serious people around you. Okay, so there we go. It's like you're such an angel that you're known for having serious people around you that do your dirty work for you because so many people want your time and maybe don't deserve it. You might have had like toxic people try to, you know, bleed you dry in a way. Um, and you're known for escaping that and keeping your energy pure and making sure that you don't get involved um, with anything toxic or dramatic because your energy is just so good that it might just happen to you. Yeah, I feel like you're known as someone who toxic situations try to follow them around um, because of how good and valuable your energy is and honestly how sexy you are too. I think there's something like you're so pure and angelic that a lot of people fixate on you. And you might have had a lot of stalkers. So you might be known as someone who's had a lot of stalkers, who has had a lot of people um, show up to their house unannounced or like do something crazy like that. Um, and I think the people who love you also go out of their way to do extreme things for you. And you're known as that too. Hmm. So you might have a very dramatic love story or you might have a very dramatic best friend ship that has lasted you know long distance in years and that sort of thing there's something about that where both the people you have in your life now and people who have left your life all of those scenarios have dramatic stories because of the kind of person you are this ace of cups like this person whose cup runneth over who seems to stay eternally young and has like a this is how you're known so you might feel like i'm gassing you up but this is just how you're known so that's what i've got for you um pile three Pull some music videos. Yeah, a lot of people want your energy and miss you. Get kind of lost in you. Get very dramatic about you. Yeah. I could definitely see you having a lot of stalkers, man. But then also I feel like people who do love you, they put in the extra effort to stay on your good terms too, you know? Like everyone's putting in the extra effort. It's just about if you like them or not. Yeah, and then you have this like really soft sense and you're very good looking. And yeah, trouble seems to follow you. Trouble definitely seems to follow you. Um, but you you just want to have a good time. And you just, <laughs> I think I'm, I'm really getting, with Troublemaker, it's like, Things just happen around you and you have to deal with them. And so if, if you're going to be my friend, this is how you're known. You're known as someone, if you're going to be my friend, just realize that people act up around me or just realize that, you know, such situations are going to happen. Don't blame me because it just seems to happen my whole life. Like that's kind of the energy I'm seeing with you. And then with Say Bitch, at the beginning of this, she's like, people thought that I was trying to... Um, insult them but I was really trying to compliment them and I feel like you might have those kind of situations happen pretty often where people take you the wrong way when you're just being your normal angel self so and I also just think you're very attractive very attractive and there's something so spiritual and angelic about you that a lot of people feel like a deep connection to you um warranted or not so but some of them are warranted I feel like you're getting more people who are correctly feeling your connection yeah, you just really go deep with people and people feel very intensely about you and willing to go pretty far for you. So that's what I've got for you, Pile 3. I'm going to leave these down below and I will see you next time. Yeah, you seem mythical though, Pile 3. <laughs> you do seem like fake. 
like people can't believe you're real when they first meet you. So that, that may be why you get into some trouble is like, at first people are like, no way, this is too good to be true. And so some struggles can happen in that time period, but then maybe you get closer or maybe you break off. So it's all about like, we'll see where it goes. Okay. Alrighty, pile number four. What is pile number four known for? I think you're known for being very healthy. I think you're known as someone very mature, pile four. Someone who, um, I got the dark chocolate over there. Hmm. Do you like dark chocolate? I don't know. <laughs> um, but I do feel like you're someone mature. You're someone classy. You're someone who is an adult who, um, you might have a very like earthy style and you're known for that as well. You're known as someone who has been through the ringer and has already started a new trail and is pretty far down their journey towards self enlightenment. <laughs> like that's kind of what I'm getting is, um, yeah, you're, you're in the midst of finding stability right now and you're known for that. You may be known as someone who loves the outdoors and who is very active, or you also could be known as someone who loves the fall time. Um, you kind of have a fall kind of vibe to you. Oranges and um, like orange, brown, you know, fall leaf kind of color aura that I'm getting here with you. You know, sunset energy with you, okay? How is, I haven't opened this one for any of the other piles, so. Gratitude, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it pre presents. Yeah, I just feel like you're known as someone who's very grateful for your life, who has worked hard for the things that you have. Um, again, you're just very mature and you're coming at things from a very stable, mature place. Grief, and and, and I feel like this, be first of all, this color is kind of what I was even thinking. For you, this is the energy of your aura and how you're known is like being like this. I don't know. It's like a warmth for sure. Um, but you might be known as someone who's gone through grief and who has been through things that have helped them mature. And because they've been through deep situations is also very trustworthy. Gratitude and grief. Yeah, it's like you've been through grief and so now you have gratitude for your peace. Anything else? How is Pal 4 known for? What is Pal 4 known for? Denial. I acknowledge, and again, this orange color. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Yeah. You're someone who knows yourself, Pal 4. I feel like you're, you're known as someone who knows themselves. You're known as someone who has done the hard work to learn their lessons. And, um, okay, they want me to keep this one out. You're known as someone who's not in denial. Like you're, you're known as someone who doesn't deny their faults, but instead works to, you know, you work with yourself. You work with your, your own dark side. You know, you've done shadow work for the people that know that kind of phrasing. But if they don't, they might just know you as someone who had the courage to look at themselves with a critical eye and change what they didn't like about themselves. Okay, how is Pal 4 known? Relax. Delight in powdered gold sunshine. So again, the gold sunshine. You're, yeah, you might be known just for that feeling of warmth, peace, comfort, happiness, stability. Um, yeah, and you, you know how to delight in the little things in life. I think you're known as someone who loves a hot cup of coffee or loves a sunrise or um, loves soft clothes. You know, you take... Um, a lot of joy in luxuries and sweet moments, like sitting in a garden. You're known as someone who would sit alone in a garden and read all day. You know, you're, you're someone who sees the value in that sort of thing and lives that life, you know, walks the walk. You bring romance to life. You're known as that, okay? Move. A rolling stone gathers no moss. Yeah, you're known as someone who kept moving forward after some grief you know, and who doesn't let that stop them, doesn't let whatever happened stop you from enjoying your life. How else is, you have like a meditative sense about you too. Like you can't be pushed, you can't be moved. Um, and you're known for that. You're known for staying strong in your peace. Um, okay, how is Pal 4 known? Nine is Sagittarius, two is Taurus, 
and three is Gemini. And I will say you're the only pile that hasn't gotten Virgo. So that's interesting. Um, just a side note. It could be that you're known as someone who's not nitpicky. You're, you're known as someone who um, doesn't take things too harshly, uh, doesn't hold a grudge. Again, it's just a maturity I'm sensing with you. Not that nothing's wrong with Virgo placements. It's just I'm using it as a tool for this whole thing, you know, like nothing against Virgos. I love Virgos. Um, I mean, they don't love me always, but anyway, so I just, I think that you have a kind of lighthearted, easygoing nature, pal, for, like you're known as someone who has a lighthearted, easygoing nature, like 99% of the time. I feel like, like anyone, you could, you know, have your moments or something, or you have a personality. It's just that you don't let that get you into trouble. You know how to walk that line. Again, I'm just sensing a lot of maturity with you. You've learned a lot from your own life. And it's made you lucky. This maturity makes you lucky because you're actually so stable. And this is something that is hard to um, come to terms with. Believe me, I know. But stability is actually freedom. Wouldn't you know it? Like, it really is. Once you're stable, you actually feel so much more free to do all these things. Because there's not a knife over your head. You know, once you're stable, you can do a lot more things because nothing could crumble the strong foundation you've created. So that's something for you. I think you're known for that. You know when to move, you know when to relax. You're not pushed into things. You're not, yeah, you're, you're never pushed um, into things. You can be interested, you can be tempted, but you can't be guilted or bullied. Like, again, and it, that just screams maturity to me. You don't bully your grandma. I mean, some people do, but I'm just saying that the archetype of a grandma is like, they are going to do what they want to do. You could ask them and they'll probably say yes because of the love, not because of guilt. Interesting. Okay. Sagittarius, Taurus, and Gemini. You have strong words too. I feel like you're known as someone who has a lot of strong, good things to say. It's like, again, with the grandma energy, I do. I'm not getting like super grandma with you. I'm just sensing these parts of the grandma, you know, archetype of somebody who can, you can go to for wise words. They're always going to have something insightful to say about whatever your issue is. But then I also sense that you are in touch with yourself and you're in touch with your own needs and you you reach for those and you um you make sure you ask for what you want you're not afraid to ask for what you want bloom and attract more than butterflies yeah you're very much in bloom and you're known for that you're known for being really engaged in the life that you created and really loving it um and still being involved but never letting it get so far huh never letting it get too far Every day is a new day. You know, you don't hold grudges and um, that's how you're known. Interesting. Okay, let's pull some of these. How is PAL4 known? Adaptability. Contentment. Isn't that interesting? So it's like, and that makes sense with the relax and move. It's kind of like, You're known for both of these parts of yourself. The fact that you move when you want to accomplish something and you're, you will take the first step. And then you also know when to lay back and let others come to you. And I think that people know you as someone who is content and it is, it's almost like they're trying to understand why you're so mature. And they're, they're thinking that it's because you're so happy with your life that it doesn't really matter what happens. And you kind of have mastered this like detachment from the outcome and instead you're just acting. And I feel like in this pile, I'm using a lot more like therapy speak and, um, but not too strong, but it's also kind of like less words, specific. Yeah, you're known as a teacher. Yeah, you're definitely known as a teacher. Truth. <laughs> well, yeah. You're known as someone who is innovative in the way they approach. And also, I don't know if your skin color is kind of um, a warm tone or your hair is or something like that, but there's something about you that is very warming. And so if it's not the, your coloring, 
I'm also getting maybe you have like honey brown eyes, could be. Um, but even, even if it's not your coloring, it just must be your aura or maybe it's the way you decorate your house or I don't know if you have some orange flowers or what, but definitely that color is heavy in your in your aura. So I don't know, Google orange aura. Um, I, I know it's one of the chakras, but I can't remember which. Decisiveness, leadership. Yeah, you have a soft power. You're an inspiration to a lot of different people because again, I just feel like you're known as a teacher. So let's see. Um, how is pile number four known? Let's get a little bit into your spicy side because I'm sensing it. It's like 90% of what you're known for is everything I've just said. You're a teacher, you're stable, you're very content, you love your life, you go towards what you want, you say things clearly, you're not afraid of expressing your needs, um, you've gone through things which has made you much more mature and strong in your spot. But then there's something on the edge there that's a little spicier. Three of Cups. Yeah, you know how to throw down. That's what I'm saying. It's like I felt kind of pushed back about the grandma thing because you know how to throw down and you know how to get into a debate. You could kind of, maybe you, you also might be known as someone who um, kind of will fly off the handle when they're like in the heat of the moment or maybe when you're drunk or something. Like you're known as someone who will kind of let it all hang out, you know, like <laughs> will kind of lose themselves in a party lose themselves on the dance floor or something like that but I think that's a part of being more mature and more engaged um, in your true self is not being afraid or embarrassed to be that true self because we do have Sagittarius Taurus and Gemini those aren't tamped down kind of signs but you can still be mature in those energies I think you know a lot of people they'll throw tantrums about not getting what they want but then when they see someone having fun they're like that's so immature which one's more immature having fun and enjoying the life, the one life you have to live or throwing a tantrum. I really think that you can have fun and still be mature. You can even get too drunk and still be a mature person. <laughs> okay, what is Pal 4 known for? 10 of Wands. You can carry it all on your back too. I feel like you are also known as someone who Mm. Interesting. You're known as someone who does it all yourself or can do it all themselves, but enjoys company anyway. Doesn't need company, but wants it. Okay. You just you're you're known as someone who really knows themselves, <laughs> um, Pop Four, and it's so heavy in your energy because I think it's different for people, and so that's why it's so heavy in the way they know you because it's so different than other people. Um, you know when to carry your burdens, you know when to hide away, you know when to pop out. Um, you know it's all based on how you feel and what you need for your own journey. You're known as someone who um, a lot of people can engage with and that you like a variety, you like intellectual stimulation, um, and you might like the finer things, like I was saying, like you might like a fancy steak dinner or a very luxurious coffee or, oh, it's reminded me of um, Leslie Nope from Parks and Rec, like she always wants to have a bunch of whipped cream on her uh, pancakes in the morning and she like loves sweet breakfast food. So you might have something about, you might have some like specific thing that you're known for, like you always love getting a hot chocolate or something like that. Um, this is a part of your lore. I think you are known as someone with a lot of lore and it's pretty stable lore because you know yourself so well. You might have a favorite place or a favorite activity and you're known for it, okay? Eight of Wands. Just when people think you're shy, you're active again. You're known as that too. Like you you come out of the woodwork at random moments and you're known for that. You come in hot, you know? It's like once you've made your decision to go for something, you go in all in, you know? And this could be hobbies too. You might be known as someone who one day will decide they wanna to learn to knit and then they're signed up for a class. They have 
six balls of yarn. They have already um, done a bunch of research on what kind of needles they want to get or whatever. Um, so that's kind of what I'm getting is you jump full into things. It could be the same thing with relationships. Once you've like set your sights on somebody, you really jump all in. You get fully invested in people. Seven of Wands. Hmm. He could be known as someone who's grouchy in the mornings or something like that. Um, again, I'm just sensing with you, you are a stable person who knows themselves. So people know you for your specific personality traits, like, or specific things you always do, you know, uh, like they're always grumpy in the morning. You know, they always go to such and such diner on Sunday, you know, that sort of thing. You are also known for that. Um, people want to get in on your routine instead of you joining them on theirs. Yeah, you're known as someone, if you ask Pal 4 a question, if you ask Pal 4 for advice, make sure you're ready to hear Pal 4's advice. Make sure you're ready to hear the truth. If you're asking for the truth, they're really going to give it to you. So make sure you're ready. <laughs> How else is Pal 4 known? Five of Swords. Uh, no winning against Pal 4. No winning against Pal 4. And that you love to build people up. Yeah, I feel like you love to build people up. You love a good party. You love to go out. Um, you like enjoying yourself, but you also like relaxing. You also like your quiet time. Um, you're very balanced. Eight of Pentacles and you're a hard worker on top of that, you know? And you value hard work in others. I feel like, again, because you have this like teacher status, um, you're also known for what you like in other people. And so you're known as someone who appreciates a hard worker. You're known as someone who likes an intellectual conversation. You're known as someone who um, will want to go out for brunch. You know, you're known, you're known for the things that would please you, you know? Four of Wands, yeah. Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. You're just known as very stable and someone who is, other people could have long-term connections to. Um, Yeah, you're also known as someone who won't give or take a bad offer. You know, you're not, you're known as someone who, if, if you are suggesting something, it's because you really mean it. Um, you're not going to pull the rug out from other people or anything like that. Um, if you've committed to someone, you really mean that and it's serious. And if you say you want to be best friends with someone, you really mean it. Um, if you say you're going to go out with Susie on Tuesday, that's what you'll be doing. Nine of Swords. You've definitely recovered from things, and so people also know you as someone who they can still approach. You still like company. You're not so um, so mature and so you know happy in your life that you don't want any more people. You you are still taking applications. That's how you're known too. You're known as someone who could use a little extra support or a little extra love, you know? And that it's really fun to be there for you and to be a part of this and to see, yeah, to join in on your routine. That's a big thing. You're known as someone who people want to join in with. So that's what I've got for you, Pal4. Let's um, finish off with some music videos. I'm seeing this one, which I like. And so you're also seen as somebody who, um, People like daydream about being your friend because I know in this one, it can also be that you're known as someone with a great friend group and that you guys do a lot of fun things. Um, but then at the end, it's like they were never there. So it also could be like you're someone people daydream about being friends with. Yeah. And again, she comes to the same restaurant all the time and that sort of thing. Yeah, you're known as someone people want to take the relationship to the next level. People love spending just quiet days with you. Um, yeah, I was getting this. Lucky is perfect for you though. Because I'm just seeing like, 
there is something where you still have gone through hardships and you could still use some comforting or you, you could still, even everything, though everything looks so great for you, you still, you know, you still need love and you're known for that. You're known like as a person who still has their weaknesses is not so above everything that they, they've never experienced heartbreak or something. Mm -hmm. How else is pound number four known? Yeah, you really fight for what's right too. I could definitely see that from you. And yeah, I'm seeing in the past you might have gotten petty with people or you might have had to, you know, really stand up for yourself. But yeah, you're in a much more calming energy now. Okay, cool. So that's what I've got for you, Paul. Four. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time.